Today we're going to solve two step equations using the distributive property. If you have not watched the video on the distributive property, I would advise you to watch that one. Also the video on adding integers and subtracting integers that will also help you with with this video. Those are prerequisites for this video. Okay. Our first problem is 4 times x plus 5 equals 24. I want to multiply my 4 times my x, which is 4x. Then I'm going to multiply my 4 times 5, which is 20, equals 24. Again, I want to first move my constant that's here on the side with the x. So I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. My 20s are going to cancel out. That's going to leave me with 4x equals 24 minus 20 is 4. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So x, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. x equals 1. And I can simplify this a bit more by just writing x equals 1. Right now, we think that x equals 1, but we don't know if that's true because we have not checked it yet. So you always check your equation because that's one way that you know that your solution is correct. So I'm going to write my original equation down, 4 times x plus 5 equals 24. I'm going to substitute 1 in for my x. So I wrote the problem down again. Instead of writing x, I wrote 1. I want to say I'm going to take care of this first. 1 plus 5 is 6. And bring down everything else. And 4 times 6 is 24. And so since I ended up with 24 on both sides, I know that's correct. And I also know that x equals 1 is correct. For this problem, I'm going to, I have 2 times 6x plus 4 equals 48. I'm going to apply my distributive property. 2 times 6x is 12x. 2 times 4 is 8, positive 8 equals 48. I'm going to find my constant here. I'm going to get rid of this constant. So I'm going to do the opposite of plus 8, which is subtract 8 on both sides. My 8's are going to cancel out. On my left hand side I'm left with 12x. On this side I'm left with 40. I'm going to divide both sides by 12. So I'm left with 1x equals 40 over 12. And it's, I can even simplify that down to um, 20 over 6. And I'm, it's still not in simplest form. I can simplify that down into 10 over 3. Right now I think x equals 10 thirds. And it's okay to receive a fraction, to have a fraction on your um, to, re to, receive a, to receive a fraction as your solution for your equation. So that's okay. That's why I worked this problem. And I wanted to review the process for dividing, for reducing fractions here. So we have 2 times 6x plus 4 equals 48. I'm going to cover up my left, my right hand side and I'm going to write 2 times 6. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write 10 over 3 plus 4 equals. I'm going to write 2. Inside my parentheses, I'm going to find a solution to this. 
I have multiplication and addition. I'm going to take care of my multiplication first. So 6 times 10 is 60. 1 times 3 is 3. Plus 4 equals. I can simplify 60 over 3. 3 will go into 60 20 times. Plus 4. 20 plus 4 is 24 times 2. And 2 times 24 is 48. Now, if I have 48 on this side when I remove my paper, I know that x equals 10 thirds. If I don't have 48 over here on this side, then I know that x does not equal 10 thirds, and I have to go back and rework it again or try to find my mistake. So it appears that x does equal 8 10 thirds. So therefore, this is since I have the same variables, the same number on both sides, and my variable is 10 over 3, I know it's 10 over 3 because this checked out. Um, I probably should have worked this problem last, but that's okay. Because that I went into more detail in this one. So let's try the next one. I want to apply a distributive property. Negative 5 times negative 2x is 10x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is plus 15 equals negative 45. I want to subtract 15 on both sides. My 15's are going to cancel. I'm left with 10x equals negative 60. I want to divide both sides by 10. And so therefore x equals, or 1x, because 10 divided by 10 is 1, x equals Six, negative 60 divided by 10 is negative 6. And we can simplify this more by saying x equals negative 6. So now let's check it. Well, I didn't leave that much space today. Let's check it. Negative 5 times negative 2x minus 3 equals negative 45. Instead of writing x again, I'm going to write negative 6. So I'm going to substitute my negative 6 in for my x. And that negative 6 is being multiplied by the 2. That's negative 2 times x, so that's negative 6 times negative, negative 2 times negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 minus 3 equals negative 45. 12 minus 3 is 9. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45. And I have negative 45 over here, so therefore, negative 6 equals x, or x equals negative 6. The last one we're going to work today is 3 times negative x plus 6 equals negative 9. Then apply the distributive property. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. 3 times 6 is positive 18 equals nine, negative 9. I want to move my constant. So this is a plus 18, so I'm going to subtract 18. My 18's are going to cancel. That's going to leave me with negative, three on, negative 3x on my left. And negative, negative 9 minus 18 is negative 27. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So x equals 9. And let's check it. I 
I would recommend before I check this, I would recommend you pausing the video and trying to check for yourself. So we want to, we want to substitute 9 in for my x. So I'm going to bring down my negative. Since x is 9, I'm going to put next year, 9 here. We don't know yet, but we need to check. Plus 6 equals negative 9. I'm going to bring down my 3. Negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3 equals negative 9. Negative, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 on the left, and I have negative 9 on the right. So therefore, apparently, x does equal 9. Again, I hope this video helped you. If you have additional suggestions about uh, videos that you would like me to work, if you'll please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com and give me your suggestions, and I will be more than happy to do those videos. Have a great day.